Hello everyone, today I'm going to be explaining how to use Pygmalion, as it's not as easy as character.ai. First things first, I'm going to give a brief explanation of what Pygmalion exactly is. So, Pygmalion is the most promising alternative to character.ai as of now, and it's open source, so you'll have to run it yourself. It also of course has no filter, and it has a lot of potential, as it's being fed character.ai logs. Which means that with time, the AI will get smarter and smarter. So, here's how your Google Collab will be looking like. You need to access the link in the description to get sent to this exact place. Just hit the button right here, and it will start installing. If you are running this on mobile, I guess you have to tap the first button as well. So, now that it's installing, I can talk a bit about the models. 6B is currently the best one, so just run that one. It's going to take a few minutes for it to finish, so I'll come back when it's done. Okay, now it's done. You'll have two links, just use whichever works for you. In my case, local doesn't work, so I'll go with public. But you don't have to worry, in both you are completely safe and the whole thing is private. Alright, so here's how Pygmalion looks like. As you can see, you can create your own character. It's quite similar to character.ai. Then you have your chat window, send message, etc. And generation settings. If you want to check what they do, just click on helpful information. So I'm just going to upload here a character I got, but as you will see, I get an error. For some reason, I can't really run this version of Pygmalion no matter what I do. But thankfully, there's another version you can use, which is even better in my opinion. Here's the other version. This is the same Pygmalion, but it has a different UI one that actually looks more similar to character.ai. And to set it up, it's basically the same thing, just click on these buttons. The first one will just keep your tab alive, so just let it on. The second one will download the AI on Google Collab. Finally done, I'll go with public URL again. And just like last time, I'll upload the character. This one actually works, as you can see, you can regenerate a message to get another one, remove the last one, etc. Here you can download the chat history, so you can talk to it later, just upload it here afterwards. I'm going to explain now how you can put a profile picture in the AI, you just go back to Google Club and follow my steps here. As you can see, I stole for the JSON is here, just upload a profile picture with that same name. Now if you regenerate or send another message, the profile picture appears. Next, here's how you can get your characters. In my case I chose Astolfo, but you can choose to download anyone here. You can also submit your character and request the character you want. Now I'm going to show you how you can Help the project by dumping your character.ai chat logs into Pygmalion so the AI grows more intelligent. Go to the website on the description, then you will install Violent Monkey extension on your Firefox. Temper Monkey if you're on Chrome, just search it up on Google. Once that's done, go back to the page and install the user script. Now go to character.ai and open whatever chat you want to upload. Go to a view safe chats and you can download the .json that you can submit on this website. Just choose whichever agreement you prefer and then upload. And that's it. I recommend going to the Pygmalion Reddit if you have any questions. And there's even a pin with helpful links right there. And you can also ask me in the comments if anything goes wrong. Let's all help on this project, as it has a lot of potential.